Two men are under indictment accused of conspiring to attack the California Democratic Party headquarters in Sacramento. The FBI says two men, Ian Rogers and Jared Copeland, are under arrest on suspicion of planning the attack. Copeland was taken into custody yesterday. Rogers was arrested in January and charged in federal court with stockpiling illegal weapons. According to the FBI, the two men plan to use some kind of incendiary device in the attack. The indictment details conversations between Rogers and Copeland using encrypted messaging apps. Now, in one of those messages, Rogers says, any thoughts on our first target? I think we should hit the governor's mansion. It's empty, no casualties, would send a message. Then Copeland responds, that's the best target, I think, too. Rogers, any idea how to take it down, either firebomb or full auto AK fire? I'm thinking full auto fire with fire will send the message we want. We shoot it up and burn it down, Wolverines. Copeland, I think we don't use bullets, just burn it down, no ammo. Authorities took Rogers into custody back in January after a raid at his Napa County home and auto repair shop. The FBI released this photo of the five pipe bombs they found. They also seized 49 guns. Now tonight we're hearing from the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Chair of Sacramento County's Democratic Party. KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo joins us from our newsroom with that reaction. Melanie? Well, we received a statement from the Department of Justice this evening outlining how the federal court in San Francisco made the move today to unseal that that indictment against Ian Rogers and Jared Copeland, charging them with conspiracy to destroy a building, affecting interstate commerce and related crimes. So the United States Attorney's Office for the Northern District of California sounded off and acting U.S. Attorney Stephanie Hines said, firebombing your perceived political opponents is illegal and does not nurture the sort of open and vigorous debate that created and supports our constitutional democracy. The statement goes on to say, the allegations in the indictment describe despicable conduct. Investigation and prosecution of those who choose violence over discussion is as important as anything else we do to protect our free society. Now, the FBI special agent in charge of this investigation also saying in a statement tonight, the FBI's highest priority has remained preventing terrorist attacks before they occur, including homegrown plots from domestic violent extremists. Special Agent Fair's statement goes on to say the FBI and the Napa County Sheriff's Office have worked hand in hand to uncover this conspiracy and to prevent any loss of life. Now, in its media statement about the alleged plot, this building you're seeing on your screen right now, the John L. Burton Democratic Headquarters for the state of California, was the target. It is at 9th and S Streets in downtown Sacramento. Perhaps you have seen it. Tonight, we spoke with the chair of Sacramento County's Democratic Party, Tracy Stafford, to get her thoughts on the alleged plot and the formal indictments being unsealed. These are all symptoms of a larger issue, and, and that is our society and this separatism. And, and even now, you know, I, I again thank the FBI for their, their work. But in this, in this day and age, you know, we should not be concerned um, about violence and terrorism just for participating in the democratic process. And now Stafford took on her role as chair of Sacramento County's Demo Democratic Party back in January, and she said within minutes of assuming her office, she learned of that case against Ian Rogers, and her office was briefed today as those indictments against Rogers and Jared Copeland were unsealed. Reporting live in the newsroom, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, what a way to start that job. Melanie, thank you so much.